Sam Wilkinson was renowned for his unique voice and reporting style in the field of sports. He was eulogized as a man who never chased life to live it, but to create a legacy. This is how Mr. Wilkinson's son, international sports broadcaster Barry Wilkinson, remembered him. What I do know is that Dr. Samuel Algin Wilkinson died empty because he left all of his knowledge, his love, his support, his kindness, parental skills, a wonderful wife. He got to travel. He was a sportsman, an administrator, and above all, he never chased life to live it, but just to create a legacy. He always said, it was a legacy that will last forever. Life will come and go. Sam Wilkinson died on June 25th at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital following a brief illness. He hosted a program at the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation called Sam on Sports. Rising to become a household name in a career spanning six decades, Mr. Wilkinson was also known for his versatility as a print and broadcast sports journalist. His daughter, Samantha Wilkinson, told the parliamentarians and other distinguished Barbadians who joined family and friends to bade Mr. Wilkinson farewell that he was truly a larger-than-life person. He was always full of energy, always eager and excited to engage with people wherever he met them. It didn't matter. He was also an incredible storyteller, and he was usually the most fun person to be around. Historian Anthony Cave said from a child, Mr. Wilkinson was involved in the development of the Anglican Church. His lifelong unbroken commitment to the church notwithstanding, Sam Wilkinson was never known to make a show of his religious views, his orientation or persuasion. But no one who had reason to engage him in any matter of spiritual or religious discussion would fail to sense the firm scale of values by which he was governed. Mr. Wilkinson was buried in the churchyard at the Christ Church Parish Church.